My name is Bob, and I want to show you this cool um, rig board that I made uh, from an uh, idea that I saw an old timer. He must have been an engineer or something. It was a really great idea. This is what it looks like. And it has rubber on the bottoms. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's just made up of... Uh, Two pieces of three quarter inch plywood screwed together from underneath and uh, there's pins in strategic places there's extra pins you can move around and uh, the reason why I, I built this uh, board was because I couldn't find a a certain rig uh, a triple rig for sea bass fishing and um, I, I they just stopped producing them I think it was because of COVID and uh, so I saw this idea and I says, well, I'll, I'll, I'll build one, you know, and, and being a machinist by trade, I, this is not the way it started. Um, I, the main part is, is these pins here. And then as I progressed and started tying rigs on it, I went from the three way, uh, sea bass rig, which I'll show you right here. These are $5 a piece. And now I tie them for like, oh, probably I don't know, 75 cents. And they're, they're a triple rig. Um, of course, I should have took this out earlier. And uh, they're a bottom rig, and they have th three hooks and a sinker loop down the bottom and a snap swivel at the top. And I'll tell you, I saved a lot of money this year. Uh, I always, I am never without rigs, uh, and then I started making uh, blackfish rigs. They're called, uh, these are Y rigs. Uh, they're a pretty common rig that everybody uses for black fishing. And um, let's see. There we go. And the cool thing about this is that when you make these rigs, you can make them at any length and, and any bottom depth, you know, setting with the sinker. You could have them longer. You could have these longer, which I do see, but it's very easy to make these. Uh, there's just a couple knots that, uh, that you have to learn. There's a double surgical knot uh, that, that I'll tie here, and then I'll, I'll do regular um, knots for tying hooks. I, I think they're called snow, hook, uh, snow knots or something. Uh, you can find them. Uh, they're fairly easy to to tie these knots. And then there's a surgical knot on on the um, um, on the loop for the sinker. And then that's it. And I've caught plenty of blackfish with this. My buddies, my buddy I fish with, he he's a, we always share. I share with him. And then here's another rig that's a common blackfish rig that I made on it. Uh, and uh, there we go. This is called a snafu rig. And uh, a snafu is, is a double hook setup, but it's it's double hooks with a with a glow bead in between the two hooks. This is great for grab you could put two half crabs on or whatever you want. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that's that's that. And then as I progressed, I started saying, wow. I pay twelve dollars. You know, a snafu rig is is five dollars. This costs like probably a dollar to make it most. You know, with with buying good quality leader also. Um, now the next one, I, I progressed. I, I says, well, I was buying Nantucket rigs from somewhere, and uh, I says, wow, they're getting like ten dollars, twelve dollars for a Nantucket rig. So I says, well, I can tie looper knots on my board. So I did. And this is an, uh, what they would call a Nantucket rig. It's just a basic high-low rig. And, and uh, the, how I found the dimensions, I bought one rig. And then I, uh, well, I hope you can see it. I bought one rig and I just mimicked. And I use a, a good, uh, a really good uh, fluorocarbon line. And then sometimes, if you want, you can put a, a snap. So you can snap the sinkers off. Off and on very quickly. Sometimes the current changes, you need to change sinker real quick. I use these little uh, snaps that, that you just pop them on real fast. Sometimes. Or sometimes I just use a surgical loop. And then I went on to uh, 
making codfish rigs. These these are basic same thing, uh, high low rigs. And I and when you're making them this cheap, um, I I started buying the hooks in twenty fives. Now I buy them in hundred packs because uh, it saves so much money on the rigs. Now this is a simple high low that I would use for codfish, and it's pretty it's pretty much the same thing as the um, the high low for fluke. You know, uh, I like to use glow stuff. Well, I should have done this earlier. <laughs> uh, so anyways, here's a simple high-low with the loop knot tied with the surgical uh, down the bottom and then the, dro the two dropper loops. And uh, it works really good for codfish. Uh, and, and, and Fluke will bite the bottom one. And, and the, it's limitless what you could do in tying these. It makes the dropper loop tying so much easier uh, to do and I so what I did with the gentleman um, I actually drilled this whole thing and made it downstairs in my workshop with a simple 3 8 drill and a um, I bought some dowel pins well being a machinist I had some too and then I used some rubber spacers and the reason why I use the rubber spacers is because you want to keep your your you'll see when I tie one for you uh, you want to keep your your, your tying issues up here and the reason why this rod is out here I added this on because sometimes I want longer uh, a longer loop so I can cut it and and then tie whatever I need to it and 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 extend it so that's why that I put different pin holes in rather than what the older gentleman if I want a smaller drop loop I'll just come over here and make a small one for a smaller bait you can you can use them for uh, drop shot rigs, make them at home before you go, and 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 put small hooks on for fishing for smallmouth, whatever you know. It like I said, that it's limitless what you could do with this thing, and it's such a simple thing. And I don't think it took me I don't know three hours to make something, four or five hours. I don't know, just messing around. I just I took my time, and I added these alligator clips because these alligator clips on both sides. Are really the deal because once you go around so it's fairly simple you're just gonna go around like this and and around here and around here and then you're gonna come past here and then you're gonna just hook to this right here to that alligator loop then the simple drop loop you go seven eight times around one two three four five six seven eight, eight times and, and then you have an opening and then you go you take your line off of there and you put it through the opening in the loop that you created and then you just come and you bring it here and make sure you pull both at the same time and then as it gets closer I just wet it a little so I don't burn the line because if you try to pull the line down tight um, you could burn the line and it'll cause you trouble later and then all you do is go to the next next one that you want to tie and it all matters what kind of length you want in between and I, I might take this and just hook this right over here uh, and and and, that, and then I'll hook it here and uh, this here is you know self-explanatory I just use a piece of styrofoam to kind of make it so it has some tension on it then I'll tie a second drop loop uh, six seven eight and here and I'll pass that through that that space that I created I'll put it back on on where I started and I'll pull again I'll get it pretty close but not all the way wet it pull it down and that's it you got your high low rig I don't know and then I'll just take this here and and I'll I'll do this I'll make a loop and, and it all matters how much you how far you want your uh, your bottom uh, you know your um, your bottom whatever you put here off the bottom and that's all adjustable and, and as you tie you, you get it down you know and then I make I make my surgical knot which is twice twice through and that's it and then I just make sure I wet that pull it down 
and, and that's it. And then I'll take it and I'll cut it. Uh, where's my scissors? I'll take it and I'll cut it off about here. Pull it out. Put a snap swivel to it. And it's finished business. Um, I didn't get the drawing out. I'll go get the drawing and